How do you feel? I am really excited mm -hmm. because I've never really sat down and had a conversation with somebody else that has vitiligo. Life with vitiligo. It's unique to every person living with it. And it's time we start seeing all different points of view. I looked at old pictures and I was just curious and I'm like, oh, brown skin, it's kind of boring. Like, now I think I really like it. <laughs> Looking in the mirror, I, I see myself and I, I, I can't find any other word but jarring. I have a daughter now, she's six. I don't want her to see me unconfident. I want her to be confident too. She loves me just like this. So we asked 11 people from different backgrounds to share their true perspectives. There's still like this internal battle where I doubt my beauty and I always will. These are the points of vitiligo, the feelings and experiences shared from every angle. I never fully don't have that shield on. From the ups. But it's beautiful and that's what makes us unique to the downs. My daughter asked me the other day, so uh, dad, since you have it, like, was it possible that I have it too? And that was the first time she ever wow. gave it any, any thought. And everything in between. I would love to just be able to meet and connect with other people that might not feel as comfortable in their bodies, um, because I know what that's like. It's time every person with vitiligo has the chance to share their POV. So for me, it's definitely a journey that I'm still figuring out where I stand exactly. Openly, completely, honestly. It's important to know that it's OK not to be OK. Thank you, thank you. I'm unique. I am. 1% of the world. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> if you had to pick between normal, no vitiligo, or who you are today, what would you pick? That's a tough question. 